Hi boys and girls, Miss Gemma here. How are you today? In today's lesson, we're going to talk about short division with remainders, which means there's some left over. Let me show you using an example. So boys and girls, let's talk about short division with remainders or leftovers. So what do we do with the leftovers? Let me show you using an example. So we need the first the short division symbol, which looks like this. Okay. And our question is, let's do 4 into 257. Okay. So what's this question asking us? It's asking us how many 4s are in 257. So let's solve it. So how many 4s are in 2? Can't do. So we'll put a dot there just to show that, so that we've dealt with it. Then we've got 4 into 25. 4 into 25 goes 6 times. So it's 6 times 4 is 24, which means I've got 1 left over. So I need to carry that over. So then this becomes 17. So the question is, Four, how many fours are in 17? There's four. So four times four is 16, which means I've got one left over. So I've got one remainder. So 257 divided by four equals 64 remainder one. Let's go have a look at some more examples. Let's have a look at our next question, boys and girls. So what's it asking? It's asking how many fives go into 389? So can five go into three? Can't, so we'll put a dot there. Then it comes five into 38. There are seven fives in 38, but does it go evenly? Let's check. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 doesn't go evenly. So I've got three left over. So I carry the three. Okay, five into 39. Again, will be seven, but will I have leftovers? I will definitely have leftovers. So how many will I have? 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So four leftovers or remainders. So 389 divided by five equals 77 remainder 4. Because let's have a look at this example, boys and girls. So it's how many 6s are in 575? So let's solve it. How many 6s are in 5? Can't do. So we'll put a dot there. So how many 6s are in 57? There's 9. But does it go evenly? Six nines are 54, so no it doesn't. So 54, 55, 56, 57. So I've got three left over, so I need to carry those. Okay, so six into 35. Doesn't quite go six times, so it's five. So five sixes are 30, which means I've got five left over. So 575, divided by six equals 95 remainder five. So there are worksheets available with lots of examples to help you keep practicing your short division with remainders. You did an awesome job, boys and girls. So now that we've had some practice with short division with remainders, if you think you need a little bit more help, come and join me in our next lesson for some more examples. I'll see you in our next lesson.